and Betsy, I'll make this promise. That is the first and last time Joe Exotic and Russ Mitchell will be mentioned in the same sentence, and rightfully so. Floyd Mayweather threw hands like no other when he was inside the ring. Now he's lending a helping hand to make a huge difference. Stephanie Haney has all the details in your daily pop break. Former boxing world champion Floyd Mayweather is paying for the funeral services of 46-year-old George Floyd, the black man who was killed by police in Minneapolis last week. Mayweather told Hollywood Unlocked in an exclusive interview how distraught he was over the charges the officer currently faces, felt compelled to do something to help, and Floyd's family accepted. He really is the undisputed champ. Our girl Lizzo said she's feeling inspired right now by the collective outrage she's seeing over Floyd's death in a live stream interview with Culture Report. That is starting to give me the first semblance of hope that I've had in a long time. The Truth Hurts singer got emotional while talking about people Sorry. fighting for Sorry. racial equality and has been sharing daily messages White of support, people, including tips on how to be a better ally. I really do believe in the good of people. Thank you for these reminders, Lizzo. And today officially marks the end of Fuller House with the final episodes of the final season now out on Netflix. Minus one famous face. Lori Lachlan, a.k.a. Aunt Becky, hasn't been so much as mentioned on the show since she was arrested related to the college admissions bribery scandal in March of 2019. But Uncle Jesse, played by John Stamos, finally explains where his TV wife has been all this time in the Be Yourself, Free Yourself episode. Apparently, she's been in Nebraska helping out her mother. That explains that. Both Lachlan and her fashion designer husband, Massimo Giannulli, have submitted guilty pleas related to the admissions bribery scandal, but a judge has not yet accepted them. If the judge does accept those pleas, Lachlan will be sentenced to two months behind bars and Giannulli will be sentenced to five months in incarceration. However, it's very likely, given the situation that we're in, that they will spend the full term of those sentences under house arrest, Jay. That seems to be the case. Stephanie, thank you very much.